Within BAM Pencil, you can add and amend invoices which you can send to the client. Now to do this, you just need to navigate to the event you want to uh, add an invoice for. You need to navigate to the Finance tab and you can see here your invoices, expenditure and your totals. Now, if you needed to add another invoice, you can simply click Create Invoice button here and that's going to generate a brand new invoice. So say you want a separate invoice for your invoice, um, sorry, for your deposit, you can do this here. And then you can amend all of your invoice information, such as the line items, and you can add new I line items by clicking this button. So if we need something like the equipment hire, which is going to cost £700, it will automatically calculate the VAT total and it will display what the line item total is going to be. And you can click add and that's going to add it to your invoice here. A BAM Pencil will automatically generate the subtotals, your VAT totals and your invoice totals and it's going to keep an eye on this within your totals as well so you can see what your profit for the gig is going to be and your net VAT. Like I said, if you want to manage your expenditure, so for example we've got van hire here at £500, you can add your expenditure and keep track of it here. Now within each invoice you can amend the settings so you can decide whether it's been outstanding or paid give it a title, an issue and a due date, a PO number and an invoice display ID. So if you want to give this invoice your own unique ID, you can do this here. You can also change the logo on the invoice and add any notes. You can also decide whether the invoice is visible on the client portal and whether you want to accept online payments via BAM Pencil Pay if you've got this enabled. As well as this, you can download the invoice to a PDF or you can view the invoice online by clicking this button and it's going to display the invoice in a really easy to view format which the client can look at and like I said, if you're using BAM Pencil Pay, they can pay it or they can download it and you can share this link with your client so they can see the invoice. You also have this really handy uh, check mark so if you want to note yourself that you sent the invoice you can click this button and it's going to display that the invoice has been sent and if you want to email the invoice instead of writing out the email yourself you can simply click this button here and it's going to pre-populate the message uh, with all the uh, information about the invoice and how they access the invoice and you can schedule this to send at a later date uh, if you're using uh, BAM Pencil Premium or above. Now, like, like I said, the client can view this information and if you're sharing the client portal with the client, they can see this. So clicking on the client portal under their documents, they're going to be able to just click on this invoice and they're going to see what we showed you before. Now, as well as this, you can see all of your invoices by clicking on the all invoice button and it's going to display all of the invoices that you have within BAM Pencil. And it's going to show them whether they're paid or outstanding, but you can filter down to just view paid or outstanding invoices. You're going to see the uh, ID, the name, the event, who the client is, when it's due, and you can easily view the invoice online, download it or view the event that it's associated with. And finally, within the report section of BAM Pencil, you're going to be able to see based off your invoices, your uh, revenue, uh, your predicted and your actual revenues, and how many invoices are outstanding and how many of them are overdue. So that is how invoices work within BAM Pencil. Do check out some of our other videos which explain some of the other features as well as how you can manage your events with BAM Pencil. But I hope you found this video useful.